今日はパーティクルのとを勉強しますパーティクルとは簡単ですでもちょっと難しいです So be sure to watch until the end of this lesson to learn how to use them correctly In beginner level Japanese you learn three functions of the particle to Number one, it connects nouns like Lingo to orange, apples and oranges. And number two, it means together with. Tomodachi to Nihon ni ikimasu. I go to Japan with my friends. And number three, it acts as a quotative marker, as in Nihongo wa tanoshi to omoimasu. I think that Japanese is fun. And in today's lesson, we'll focus on two of these functions. First, to connect two nouns, and second, as together with. Let's take a look at this first function of particle to. To is used to connect two or more nouns similar to end in English. So this particle is called connecting particle. Nihongo to ego, Japanese and English, and lingo to orange, plural and singular don't matter in Japanese, so it could be just one apple and one orange, or more apples or orange. Here, the particle to is inserted between two items, just like and in English. Let's say I have three items. To is attached to every noun in the list except the last one. Lingo to, banana to, orange. The particle to is inserted between each word. That's the difference between Japanese and English. In English, you put and only between the last two nouns like apples, bananas, and oranges. But in Japanese, we put the particle to between each word. How do you say they are red pen and blue pen and black pen in Japanese? Akai pen to, aoi pen to, kuroi pen ga arimasu. ne. Let's make some more sentences. Ken drinks water four times a day at these times. How do you say that in Japanese? Okay, well, let's go to a Chinese restaurant and order these items. How do you order these items? So this. Ramen to gyoza to chahan o kudasai. Could you say that? Well, let's talk about Susan. Susan bought a pair of boots and a bag. How do you say that? Susan wa boots to bag o here is an important rule about the particle to. It connects nouns only. It cannot be used to connect verbs, adjectives, or to link two or more sentences. For example, you cannot say a phrase like taberu to Neru to mean eat and sleep. Both taberu and neru are verbs, 
so you cannot connect them with the particle to. The same rules apply to adjectives. For example, you can't say oishi to yasui desu to mean delicious and cheap. To connect verbs and adjectives in one sentence, you will need to learn a special verb conjugation called te form. We'll cover the te form on my channel soon, but not in today's lesson. You cannot connect two sentences using the particle to either. To link sentences, you use the conjunction phrase soshite, like in oishi desu, soshite yasui desu, which means it's delicious and it's cheap. Let's move on and look at another use of particle to. It means to gather or with, and it shows that an action is done with someone. The sentence structure is X to, where X is the person or animate object. Please look at this simple sentence. Moyo sensei wa nihon ni ikimasu. Moyo sensei will go to Japan, but what if Moyo sensei go to Japan with her friend Michiko? Then you are going to use this phrase and say, Moyo sensei wa Michiko san to nihon ni ikimasu. Makes sense, right? Sure dewa bun wo tsukutte kudasai. How do you say Miss Tanaka drinks coffee with her friend? Tanaka-san wa tomodachi to kohi wo nomimasu. Ii desu ne. Please remember one important rule when using particle to to mean with someone. The sentence structure is x to where x is a person or animate object. You cannot use to with inanimate objects like pens. For example, in English, you might say she writes with a pen or Moyo sensei eats with chopsticks. But in Japanese, you cannot say pen to kakimasu or ohash to tabemasu. To describe actions done with inanimate objects, you must use other particle like de, which we will cover later, but not in today's lesson. If you want to ask a question, with whom do you do those activities? Then the question word is dare to. Dare means who. To is with. So dare to. Nihon ni ikimasu ka? With whom do you go to Japan? Dare to eiga o mimasu ka? With whom do you watch the movie? Sure dewa kotaite kudasai. Yuko san wa dare to Kyoto ni ikimasu ka? Hai. Yuko san wa Mami-san to Kyoto ni ikimasu. Ii desu ne? Let's make another sentence. So this sentence, Ken eats lunch with his mom and dad. This sentence has both with and and, so your Japanese sentence should have two particle to, but with different functions. それでは言ってください。そうです。ケンさんはお父さんとお母さんとお昼ご飯を食べます。できましたか ?Now let's go back to this sentence. もよ先生はみちこさんと日本に行きます。And compare it with another one. もよ先生とみちこさんは日本に行きます
Now, there are slight differences in meaning. Can you spot the differences? Yes, as you notice, the function of the particle to in sentence number one is together with. And the function of this particle to in sentence number two is connecting Moyo sensei and Michiko san. And this particle wa is a topic marker which set a topic of the sentence. The difference between the two sentences is in sentence number one, the topic is Moyo sensei and the focus is on her. You want to comment on Moyo sensei like saying she goes to Japan with her friend Michiko. In sentence number two, the topic is both Moyo sensei and Michiko san. You want to talk about them both together. So if your focus is Moyo sensei only, use sentence number one. But if you want to talk about both Moyo sensei and Michiko san, then start with sentence number two. Are you getting the hang of the particle to? Well, let's wrap up with the final challenge. How would you say this sentence in Japanese? I ran with Ken, Hiroshi, and Keiko. And the verb to run in the past tense is hashirimashita. Please write this sentence down on a sheet of paper to see if you can use the particle to correctly. Uh, you may pause the video if you need extra time. So this, watashi wa Ken san to Hiroshi san to Keiko san to hashirimashita. Dekimashita ka? Mina san wa dare to nihongo o benkyou shimasu ka? Moyo sensei to nihongo o benkyou shite kudasai ne. Well, if you learn something new today, please like it. And subscribe to my channel. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Sore dewa, mata ne!